company for the best fun. You just invite a bunch of people and it spontaneously turns into a party. They bring their instruments. As long as you feed them, you get music. If you if you feed them. That's like I do. The starving artist is not a myth. It's a real thing. I'm telling you now. If you feed them, they'll show up and they'll play and it'll be great. So check it out. Stick around. My parents, they took me to Austria, Vienna, and uh, I got a scholarship from Vienna State Conservatory. I have played in a lot of places, a lot of festivals, both in Europe, Asia, and then in uh, in America. Performance is my favorite thing to do. It's just why you play music, I think. Having music in their lives the way that it is, it made them very happy and it makes it makes me similarly happy. Too. I'm uh, just a very easygoing, friendly person and uh, I think that's what they saw in me. So that someone who could adapt to a different, you know, I guess different social environments. <laughs> well, you better say something nice. I did, I did, I, you know, I tried to be very cool and try to be um, different because I know I'm, I'm from different country and uh, I also uh, I have red hair and it's really weird in my country, but not in here. We love it. I try to be as flexible as I can um, and I try to always make it fun and interesting with things that they like, not something that I might think it's interesting for them. Of course I try to make sure that they're having fun while we do it, so if they have other songs and bands and artists they're interested in, we'll try to learn songs uh, that they like to play, but we're also going to learn uh, the fundamentals and basics of their instrument. I like to get people playing songs that they like as soon as possible. It's fun uh, building a building a nice musical platform for younger students. You know, you know, obviously uh, a younger student isn't going to understand what an inversion is right away, but you know, they might understand that you know a major third will sound a lot happier than a minor third. Some like like R&B, some like. You know, like country, some is like finger picking, some is like, you know, raw. So, you know, in this situation, I have to listen to different artists to give them what they, what they want because that will motivate them into learning more about the guitar. It's tough to get them interested in, in music, in doing something specific. And with this student, what I found was that it was writing his own song that totally got him involved in it. You gotta get your kid interested and in wanting to practice some way and eventually he will, he or she will want to practice on their own without rewards but they need to see that it can be fun at first. Especially for the younger students, that's the most important thing is making sure they have a good time. <laughs>